Here's my secret fog recipe that I use in almost all of my renders. I have the fog in my asset browser so I can quickly throw it into my scenes. This fog cube contains the material and under object properties, viewport display, it is set as bounds so it doesn't block my view. Here's how to create the material. Get a cube, new material, shift A, search for volume scatter, math and light path node. Turn math into multiply, this goes into density. From the light path node, is camera ray goes into the first socket. Set anisotropy to about 0.8. Volume scatter goes into volume. You can control the density of the fog with the math node or select everything, control G, turn it into a node group, connect the controls outside, rename them and slap them into your asset browser. Why multiply is camera ray with the density? The is camera ray socket in this case is used to calculate the density based on the camera view. If you connect only the volume scatter to the world's density, sunlight wouldn't pass through because the world is infinite and the volume will be infinitely thick regardless of how low you set the density value. But by multiplying the density with is camera ray, sunlight can pass through because density is calculated from your viewing angle. I still prefer to use our custom fog with a cube instead of the world density. With our custom fog, the fog's fall off is gradual, making it look more realistic. Unlike a uniform change in density, this method creates a gradual density shift from the viewing perspective, mimicking the behavior of a real-world fog. Plus, it gives you these god rays that are hard to get by just using regular volumes.